So before we get into this video, shout out to Trump and Joe Rogan. Uh, there's a lot going on with that surfacing around the interweb and uh, the interweb. And uh, I just want to read some of these comments. You guys still can't see my cursor. That is whacked out. But shout out to Me Too 1492. Kamala versus Putin. Kamala loses. Kamala versus Maduro. Kamala loses. Kamala versus Z. XI. I don't know how to pronounce that. Kamala loses. Kamala versus herself. Kamala loses. Kamala wins. We all lose. And uh, that's a comment I just read uh, with the black profile picture um, circle, if you could see that. Anywho, yeah, uh, some, uh, somebody else said, shout out to Biz Bitcoin Scarcity. Rogan, it's time to, it is time to endorse Trump officially. You know who is good and who is evil. Listen to your, body, your buddy, Tony Hinchcliffe, okay? And uh, yeah, somebody else said, Kamala could teach a class on cringe behavior. She is horrible. Yeah, uh, she thinks she is talking to children again. Harris is just running out of lies. People are seeing it, man. It's hard to deny. And if you and if you are in denial, well, we're gonna keep going with these clips. So before we get into this video, shout out to the King Squad, the King Squad family, and the King Squad at least. You guys are the bond.com. You guys are awesome. And don't let anybody tell you any different, okay? How everybody's making their money legally and drinking their water. And no, this is not financial advice. And uh yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share these videos. It really helps us get out there into the algorithm so more people can be exposed to the truth and see what's going on out here in these YouTube streets. I'm just kidding. See what's going out here. See what's going on out here in the, uh, you know, against the mainstream media's lies. So shout out to Benny. We're going to get right into this video and I'll give my commentary on the back end. Let's go. West Airline ads where somebody. It's for the horses, you know? What's up guys, your boy Benny. You ever seen those Southwest Airline ads where somebody does something extremely cringe or humiliating or embarrassing or career ending and they need to get away or want to get away? Get on, get on a flight, get on a flight, get the hell out of there. You've done humiliated yourself, now get out. Does that remind you of Kamala Harris's entire campaign? Like every time Kamala Harris is giving a speech or is saying something to anyone anywhere, it's like, want to get away? Yeah, you done F that one up. Check this out from last night. Kamala Harris is giving a speech and people chant her name. And uh, in response to people chanting her name, Kamala Harris says the worst possible thing that you can do. She makes everybody feel awkward. She maniacally, hysterically laughs like she's on some type of drug. And then she immediately starts hugging her teleprompter. It was, it's terrible. It's, it's literal political campaign malpractice. Watch. <laughs> Okay. People are chanting your name. Got it. It's a nice moment. It's a warm, special moment. Although uh, we know a lot of these people are probably paid to be there. Got a pack of cigarettes. Got a Chick-fil-A sandwich for free. Was bussed in. Um, we know based on the cell phone data that a lot yep. of these people will go to the go to the uh, rally after rally after rally. So they're probably like rent a crowd people for Kamala. Yep. And they were probably told to chant her name here. But either way, they're chanting her name. So that's nice. Okay, now I want each of you to shout your own name. Do that. Because <laughs> it's about all of us. We, we do speak and uh, at large events, all right, on occasion. I need to get a soundboard so I could like play the Mario death sound. Do 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 do. All right, I just had to make the sound, but until I get a soundboard, I'm gonna do that very soon. But yeah, that was very hard to watch. Cringe, I don't know. I think that was harder to watch than me making the Mario sound noise. Anyways, let's get back into the video. That was very highly cringe of Kamala. And it's very important to roll with the energy of the crowd. The last thing you wanna do when the crowd is energized and chanting your name is to shut them up and make them feel super awkward and then maniacally laugh like a sociopath. But then Kamala does the last final insult to the crowd, which is to immediately start reading from her prompter again without acknowledging how strange and awkward that moment was. It's about all of us. And listen, I have fought my whole career to put the people first. Look, <laughs> look at her jump back to the teleprompter like it was the door of the Titanic that Rose was laying on to stop from freezing to death, shoving Jack off into the abyss. Kamala Harris is so bad at this. She's so bad, ladies and gentlemen. 
she can't even get through a friendly rally. She can't even get through a friendly interview. Here's CBS News asking Kamala Harris, like, are you blowing this? Suggest that your momentum has slowed. Do you feel like the race is slipping away? I do not. And Ashley, and I agree with you. I think certainly polling is a measure, but to be frank, if I listened to polls, I would have never run for my first or second office. <laughs> I wouldn't be here talking with you. And um, what I am seeing are in, in states such as South Carolina, I mean, North Carolina, Georgia. What? What are you talking about? Super cap. What the hell's going on, lady? That answer makes no sense. You don't even know the difference between North and South Carolina. Kamala, awkward Michigan crowd rally goes awkwardly silent. She's so insanely bad at this. She's going to set the Democrat Party back years. Look at the size of her teleprompter, by the way. This Thanks to Alex Stein, uh, who went to a rally for Kamala Harris and showed us the absolute unit that is the teleprompter and how the speakers can't even say Kamala's uh, name correctly. This is Beyonce's mom. Beyonce's mom doesn't even remember who her daughters are. That has to be in the prompter. How embarrassing. How put upon. How scripted is all of this? Ladies and gentlemen, um, the most unscripted show on the internet is the Joe Rogan show, where Joe Rogan talks for hours and hours with his guests about a wide range of topics. Now, Joe Rogan decided to post the entire show to X with his interview with President Trump, which is the most seen interview possibly in human history. And we're going to wow. wait for the final numbers to click in. But hundreds of millions of people have now watched this interview. Joe Rogan uh, had to post this to X because there was a uh, there there was mass reporting bot attack on Joe Rogan's uh, YouTube account that got the interview delisted. That's since been fixed. But in the middle of that news cycle yesterday, uh, Joe Rogan decided to post the full interview on X. This is great. Seen by another 10 million people here on X. And then Rogan says this. That has sent everybody into a psychotic break on the left. Also, for the record, the Harris campaign has not passed on doing the podcast. They offered a date for Tuesday, but I would have had to travel to her. And they only wanted to do one hour. I strongly feel the best way to do it is in the studio in Austin. My sincere wish is to just have a nice conversation to get to know a human being. I hope we can make it happen. This says Joe Rogan. Mm. <laughs> so Joe Rogan is saying exactly what we have been predicting on this program, which is that Kamala Harris would never do. She, but Kamala Harris can't be unscripted at her own rallies. Kamala Harris has no capacity to even speak with all the, you know, all the supporters that money can buy, which are the people that show up to her rallies. She has no capacity to like survive a moment where people are chanting her name. Imagine what she'd be like under the glaring scrutiny of Joe Rogan for hours on end. So that's why they've tried to limit Joe Rogan and then to take Joe Rogan out of his element and make him do the podcast outside of his studio. Joe Rogan's studio is famous. He does interviews there for a reason. There's a vibe and aesthetic and a reality to doing show like to doing three and four hour shows. And you need a good studio to do that. You need a studio that won't break and you need a comfortable setting to have a nice, relaxed conversation. So Kamala Harris is trying to manipulate the Joe Rogan interview. And now this is going completely and totally viral. Um, Joe Rogan is effectively bodying Kamala Harris and saying she's too much of a coward to do the interview. Good clarification. Would definitely watch podcast. Two hours would be brain melting, says Elon Musk. With a straight face. A podcast host is saying he's unwilling to travel to interview the vice president of the United States of America and Democrat nominee for president. Lids <laughs> are down bad. With a straight face, the podcast host had the former president of the United States of America and Republican nominee for president sit for three hours in a studio and viewed 38 million times on YouTube just days ago. The idea that like Joe Rogan is just a podcast host and not the most consequential voice in media and we're in media and we're under no illusions that, you know, art, maybe someday, but Joe Rogan is the true goat, the true king. And no one can hold a candle to the size of his 
audience, the power of his audience, as we've as we've elucidated, hundreds of millions of subscribers. Joe Rogan has. There's no bigger show in the world. And so, yeah, Joe Rogan can actually call the shots and can say, um, no, we, we, we're going to do it on my terms. He's not just a podcast host. I thought you people were supposed to know things about media. Dumbasses. Joe Rogan won't have Kamala Harris on his show unless she comes to his studio and sits for two to three hours like Trump did. We've entered an era where podcast hosts have more power than the sitting vice president. Thanks to a free and uncensored internet, the uh, democratization of media, news reporting has finally been realized decades after online pioneers first dreamed of the possibility. This is why the establishment politicians and regime journalists uh, are so afraid of podcasts and social media, why they continue to aggressively push for regulation. A college dropout who started his career hosting Fear Factor, working as a UFC commentator, is able to dictate terms to the vice president, former senator, former attorney general, largest state in America. The presidential election is one week away, and she needs him and his audience far more than he needs her. You love to see it. That's a great take. Just a great, great take. You know what's not a great take? I think Joe Rogan is afraid to interview Kamala Harris because then it would require a great deal of research and preparation he's not equipped to do. That's I have found the single dumbest post on X. <laughs> simple Jack. Oh, simple Jack. Yeah. Uh, Joe Rogan's scared of Kamala. You're right. Joe Rogan's scared of Kamala Harris, who can't survive CBS interviews. Well, we all know that they got to protect Princess Kamala. Good. Princess come Lord, Ka- uh, Ku Klux Kamala. And uh, yeah, she she they got to keep her in a safe space because they can't have her fumbling around. The, the election is too close and they already they, they can't they they had to boot bumbling Biden and now this is their last hope, okay? She is the Skywalker of the Democratic Party. I'm sorry to disrespect Skywalker like that. But uh, yeah, they, they can't have her fumbling around. They can't. So they said, okay, how about let's, let's, whoever had this brilliant idea that, you know, suggests Joe Rogan step over into their rigged podcast is, you know, they need an IQ test and their brain needs to be checked out by a doctor. I'm going to just say that right now, okay? He has a, an extremely huge platform and one of the biggest creators on earth okay and it's just what it is and uh i'm not glazing bro i'm just saying what it is but uh yeah so you know why why would he step out of his how to, out of his domain out of his territory out of his his place of zen out of his space his universe his world why would he step out of that to accommodate harris why, why would he do that uh trump was humble enough to step into rogan's place of uh, place of uh his kingdom he, he was he was humble enough to do that okay and Trump is huge pause but yeah um anyways you know it, it, Kamala is just it, a bumbling idiot let me stop anyways let's get let's get on with the video Joe Rogan is scared of Kamala Harris who when asked recently about her cognitive abilities uh decided that she was simply going to stare into the middle distance down the center of the camera and not answer the question. This is this is an amazing this is an amazing clip. They, th- they like they actually think they actually think that 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 Joe Rogan is scared of this. Donald Trump was on Joe Rogan and he called you Madam Vice President a very low IQ person and said I think she needs to take a cognitive test. I think Kamala should have a test because there's something missing. There's something wrong with her. Would you take a cognitive test? Sure. In other news, J.D. Vance is going on Joe Rogan's show after Kamala Harris snubs the popular podcaster. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, This is going to be wild. uh, uh, J.D. Vance is going on on Wednesday. So this is going to be a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, um... The moment is here. They're screaming and losing their minds like demons trying to take our show or any any show that is free and independent off the internet. And um, living well is the best revenge. Actually, the best revenge is actually success. Success will be our revenge. And it's going to be glorious. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share. 
So shout out to Benny Johnson, okay? And uh, yeah, they 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 gotta protect Kamala, okay? They they can't have her uh, uh, bum, uh, fumbling around and getting asked extremely serious questions for two hours. She can't even talk for two hours, all right? She can sit here and make stuff up out of thin air and you know sprinkle some pixie dust for two hours. Yeah, she could do that, you know. But you know, as far as giving solid, concrete answers on certain policies and 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 real thoughts and genuine authentic, authenticity and all that kind of stuff, she she is not built like that. Okay, she is not that. Okay, this this is not that. All right, it's just what it is. She does not have concrete answers on how to make America more prosperous and how she's going to help you uh, uh 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 benefit with your life. It's just not going to happen. All right. What she can tell you is how, you know, she's going to open the door for everybody to delete babies. That, that, I mean, she, she could say that. Other than that, I mean, I mean, what else do they have? What else do they have? That, then she's out here trying to copy Trump's policies with the wall. Man, I tell you, there's nothing original about her. She's literally like plastic. She's literally made of plastic. <sighs> how she's made it this far is amazing to me. And uh, it's actually kind of disappointing. It's like, what the heck? I guess anybody can run for president. <laughs> That's kind of how it strikes me. I'm like, wow, this is deplorable. Anyways, comment down your thoughts below. I always look forward to seeing what you guys have to say about this stuff. And uh, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Share these videos so more people can see what's going on out here. Because a lot of people, there's a lot of people who are still lost. A lot of people who are getting out of the Democratic Party and trying to figure out, you know, what's going on and checking out the Republican side, checking out the independent side, independent leaning conservative, all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah. So that's why we make these videos to get the truth out, all that kind of stuff. And uh, shout out to the King Squad, the King Squad family, King Squad Loose. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. You guys are awesome. And I mean awesome. And don't let anybody, and I mean anybody, tell you any different. All right, that's it. Peace.